I'm here with Chris. It is so good to see you. Good to see you again. Again, after four years, I would, I would guess. And we talked about the Speed Champions, the moment you decided we go wider. We would like to have eight stats. And we are still here. And we have still eight stats. And we're going to see here in the second more lovely cars, different ones. And you know, I'm a big car expert. I can tell you anything in my dreams. <laughs> uh, so uh, maybe we just go for it. We can start right here. They're going to be a new poly bag. Yeah, yes. So that is one thing that's the smallest edition of Speed Champions, but definitely one of our most important is everyone thinks of Speed Champions as six wide that moved to eight wide, but we actually have three collections. We've got the six wide collection, which we've is now obsolete. We've paused that. Um, and then we've got the eight wide, which is the new version, which has is, is replaced the six wide. And then the third one is we've got these five wide poly bags, which always recreate one of the bigger SKUs, but at a smaller a smaller scale, just to give you a taste. So the, although it's a poly bag, there's a lot of wacky building in there, just to give you a taste of what you could experience with a larger eight wide speed champions. I have all of those at home. I have to say, so I'm not the biggest speed champions collector, but I have all the poly bags. Okay, we just do the round here. Uh, this is an orange car, <laughs> which is a good start. <laughs> and you can give us all details here. Great. So um, so this is McLaren. So that's the first partner that we're, we're revisiting with. It's actually part of a double pack. So these two cars will be together in a single pack. Okay. Um, and this is... I'm so excited about it for so many reasons. McLaren, fantastic uh, partner. Worked with them several times. Um, they were the face of when we did Lego Forza Speed Champions a couple of years ago. And this is actually the first time... This is a lot of firsts for us with the McLaren. It's the first time we're doing a double pack. So this is the first time we're doing an icon of uh, McLaren. So this is the first supercar that they ever did, which is the, the F1. Um, and it's actually their latest um, supercar, hypercar, we would say these days, that they've they've done, which they've just um, been released. Originally uh, shown in a video game. We've been working on it with the code name of uh, BC08, but now it's uh, it's got the Solace title. Um, that's actually what we've based our polybag on this year as well. So this has got more of a video game livery uh -huh. for those who are already familiar with it. Um, McLaren F1, what's special about it? So many things. So this is to, um, if, if you follow the trend, what we've done the last few years where we've added icons starting in 2019 with the, the Ferrari um, F40. Wow, the name fell out of my head there. Oh, this, the you, you could have asked me this. This is what I want to know. F40. I was, yeah, yeah. To, I was waiting for you to tell me. Um, yeah, so starting with the, F, the F40, for some reason I was going to say F1 because this is the F1. Um, and then we've got things like the Lamborghini Countach. We've got things like the Chevrolet Corvette. We're always trying to add a couple of icons in there, at least one icon every year. And this year, to accommodate what we did last year with the Countach, we're doing the McLaren F1. Um, what's really cool is that we've never had an orange vehicle in the 8-wide collection before. Our previous orange vehicle in Speed Champions was with six wide, also McLaren with the 720S. But we're really excited about this. What's cool as well is that this is the first eight wide Speed Champions um, that's a supercar, but actually has a central driving position. So that's actually one of the unique details about this car. Um, no other supercar, it's actually a three seater. So no other supercar has this. This is very iconic to this to this vehicle and to McLaren in some regards. Um, again, we're trying to capture all the details. We're taking some learnings from what we did with the Countach. As you can see, you guys know when I bring this stuff to you that it's fresh off the designer's desk. So there's prototypes inside. We've got prototype chassis because we, we can get to that in a bit with the new elements, but there's a lot of novelty here. We've still got spray painted elements because we, we don't have the final stuff yet. Um, what's really nice is that we've made this new chassis which allows us to make the whole minifigure lower which allows us to make the car lower so that's really nice so we can really get those shapes and the transitions all nice and um, we've also added these two new shoulder pieces so one of the big focus points this year for speech hammers was the fo uh, the shoulders and this allows us to create a longer slope which creates a longer transition goes straight from the cockpit into the body of the car allows us to maximize those four modules in the center for actually building rather than adding stickers and then only two modules to build and overall we're just super happy with the way this is this has turned out um so that's the first one that's the the mclaren f1 but the other part of the double pack is um the mclaren uh, bc08 i'm so used to calling it i know it's not the final name but 
I'm so used to calling it by its code name that to me this will forever be the BCO8. Um, now, again, we're introducing some new parts. Brand new cockpit, that's why it's got this strange uh, yellow uh, tinge because this is a prototype and it's been sitting on my desk for several weeks. Um, what's really unique about this thing um, is that it's got it's a one person hypercar basically. Um, it is actually nine modules wide, so I'll say that again. It's nine, slightly larger than the eight, and that's because in real life, as you guys know, speed champions, we're trying to also make all the vehicles in scale with each other. So that's very important to us. As all speed champions, got a few funky builds. So you'll see there's things in here that's at angles. There's there's helicopter blades that's built in that. You can't even tell because we were using such a small part of the element, but you can kind of see it's to get that very iconic uh, blade detail. There's a lot of unique shaping going on inside, taking a lot of the learnings that we did from the Aston Martin Valkyrie last year. And if we flip it, you can see that we're actually, again, using our wheelbase sideways to allow us to get the central driving position and to do a lot of weird stuff that we don't always want to just use the, the chassis. And sometimes... With the vehicles we choose, we actually choose them because we want to challenge ourselves. So as soon as we do this, this allows us to actually create a completely different build experience than anything you guys have seen in Speed Champions before. So very excited by this one. I think the real car is amazing in real life. It's almost like getting in a jet plane. It's so different. They're both looking good. And now it's my big hour here because this is a Ferrari because it's red. So thank you so much. No applause, please. But um, <laughs> uh, this is an iconic car, of course. Uh, yeah. So um, this is the Ferrari Competizione 812. It is the successor, I guess. It is the sequel to my favorite Ferrari ever, which is the Ferrari Superfast. Um, Ferrari, obviously, everybody knows. Like you've said yourself, in a kid's mind, as soon as it's a red car, it's automatically Ferrari. And um, what makes this super cool is it's very, very different. If you're just a Ferrari fan, to the last Ferrari we did, the 512M, um, some interesting things about it is we've got the, the yellow racing stripe over there for the Compezioni. But this is where we've designed a brand new wheel arch. So what this allows, and we also used it in the McLaren I previously shown, but what this allows us to do is to actually, with the help of the new chassis, this is spray-painted prototype, allows us to load the minifig all a whole module, but also now we can load the whole car, a whole module with this chassis. So where previously we've had studs across the top here and we couldn't do anything about it. It's just the way it had to be. We've now actually been able to lower the headlight, lower the studs here and lower everything. So you get a much clu uh, cleaner, smoother transition at a lower, which makes the cars feel a lot more wider as well. And the proportions a lot more accurate. There's lots of new decos in this. So headlights, again, you guys know us. We're either going to brick build them with transparent elements or we're going to decorate them. No more stickers when it comes to headlights. We are trying to, again, reduce all that kind of stuff. But we've also, we wouldn't be speed champions without using elements in ways you wouldn't expect. So like I mentioned with the helicopter blade here, blasters. Whoever thought speed champions needed blasters? Well, we did. So we're going to include two of these new stud shooters as the exhaust pipes. But because we know that not everybody wants to have Speed Champions as just a display model on the shelves, and we want you to rebuild. We want to see, okay, if you dismantle a Speed Champions car, what can you use it for? So we're also even going to include the triggers in there as well, so that a minifigure can have a little bit of fun when he's shooting the uh, Star Wars Empire or whoever the child wants to see. So that's our Ferrari A12 Compezioni. Really excited by it because we think it's it's turned out very well and it's it's the latest version and hopefully the best version in your guys' eyes of what we can do with Ferrari. Um, next, we've got a hypercar. And this car is probably my favorite, but that changes every time you ask me because I, I keep changing my opinion. This is our new partner for 2023. And this I'm really excited by because I've been in talks with these guys for a while and they've finally made this car. And this is Pagani. This is the first for, for Speed Champions, the first for Lego teaming up with Pagani. Some cool stuff to talk about here. Lots of new elements with this brand new canopy, these brand new shoulder pieces that's um, five long, but it follows the six so, Sorry, long, Bugatti? Pagani. Oh, not Bugatti. Not Bugatti. I'm sorry. This is something I have to learn. I'm sorry. Because Bugatti, I know Bugatti Chiron, but this is, this is again? 
Pagani. Paga- Pagani. Sorry, I learned something right now. Please okay. go on. <laughs> um, Mercedes AMG um, um, is... I've never drove it, so I can't tell. Um, but yes, Pagani. So it, it is another one of the Italian uh, luxury brands. Um, they just do beautiful cars. So realistically, they've done several cars over the years, but realistically, they've done three. This being the third, they did the Hyura and the Zunda. Now this is the third one, which is the Utopia. Um They've done different iterations of that over the years, but this is like the third real main vehicle. So that is super exciting. They do one maybe every 10 years. So really, really loving this. What's really cool about it is we wouldn't be speed champions again without using ice blades for details or maybe roller skates for engine details. And doors. Or (laughs) finally, a speed champions car that has doors, but speed champions, not in the way that you would imagine. So... Yeah, very excited by this. Again, using the new chassis, we can lower the car. Using the new wheel arches, we can lower the car. So it's actually the lowest car that we've ever done. And uh, yeah, right now, probably is my favorite. But again, ask me tomorrow and I'll say something else. And now again, uh, time for me. This is a Porsche. (laughs) Thanks for the sticker. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, the sticker does sell it. Um, Yeah. Porsche. So last time we talked was the last time we did a Porsche. So for me this year, it was very, very important that we've never had a Porsche in the eight wide collection. Now we could do another 911 because we always do 911s, but we really want to do something a bit different that wasn't wasn't the classic 911. Um, so that's why we also thought, what are the boxes can we tick? And we've never actually had an LMP or LMH in this case vehicle in the eight wide collection as well. So with this product, we bring you the first LMP, LMH vehicle in Speed Champions. It's celebrating the anniversary of Le Mans. So it's the, the, that's going to be a really huge deal. Celebrating the anniversary of Porsche. So that's a huge deal. And it's the first 8-wide Porsche or Porsche in the 8-wide collection. So that's fantastic. Some really nice things to point out here is it's got this brand new livery that we've, we've developed this directly at the same time Porsche has developed the real car. So we've had about four different liveries and and, uh, color palettes for this vehicle. And we actually developed this the day they found out with them. Um, So that's just shows how we're so lucky to be to be working and have such good partnerships with these these brands. For this, we've developed a brand new cockpit again, like you you saw on the on the McLaren previously. This is actually the final version with the final uh, printing on. So you can see that now. And if I pull up the Ferrari cockpit as well. One thing you'll notice new for Speed Champions is we're trying to reduce the the number of stickers. We're trying to decorate more. We're trying to improve the decorations that we're doing. We're actually going to decorate this far down, as far as, like, physically possible on these so that it actually creates the slant of the cars. But also, if you look at the Porsche, it actually completes the stripy livery. So you can see where the black lines go here and then blend up with the stickers. So we're really focusing on, as when we promised you guys with the 8-wide launch, creating as much accuracy and, and improving the authenticity every time we do our vehicle. We've got some new elements on here as well that we can't take credit for, but we are using them, which is this one by 2 half-circle tile. We're going to color change that to transparent for our headlights. It's a brand new element made by the Mario team, so we're really grateful about that. Also, we're really we're reusing this other brand new element in here, which is a half circle jumper plate. But we're going to color change that to black for the first time, so that allows us to actually be able to build these intakes in the way that we need to. So there's a few cool little details in there. There's another element across this portfolio that I think you'll be excited by, but we'll keep that till the end for the moment. And last but not least, yes, here we go. So last year, after three or four years of, of working on it, we were able to launch movie and TV vehicles into Speed Champions. This was to show you guys that just like Speed Champions isn't just supercars or LMP or Formula One or GT or icons, Speed Champions is eight wide IP vehicles, IP collectibles for petrol heads. And we know that petrol heads also watch movies. We know that you can't put an age on a petrol head. So they could like something like James Bond with the classic DB5, or they can like something that's a bit more modern with the Fast and Furious. We heard a lot of people out there say, where's Paul Walker's vehicle? 
So we've heard you. We're going to do it. We're going to do Paul Walker's Nissan Skyline. Now, we've already done a Nissan a few years ago with the Nismo when we last talked. But what we've done here is we've took a lot of the learnings from that. So around the back, the most iconic part of the car is the taillights. We've really focused on getting those built in a very different to the previous, but also very much more accurate way. We've also took learnings from the previous Fast and Furious. And if you look inside the interior, it is the most detailed interior we've ever done with not one, not two, but three NOS bottles in there where we actually finally, we heard you guys say, finally using a, a flower piece in Speed Champions for the little cog. And then also we've got a few stickers in there as well as a decorated seat to give you all of the different screens and as much detail as possible as you would see in the movie. There's a lot of unique building because it's Speed Champions, that's what we do. So around the front, we're using um, Nexo Knight Shield sideways and three module walls to really capture all of the shaping and everything that you would need. And then to just say that we really go on that extra mile, the Nissan Skyline, especially in Fast and Furious, would not be complete without the striping on the side. But to make the striping on the side complete, we're actually going to decorate the wheel arches for the first time ever in any Speed Champions product. So this is a bit of a game changer for us because this is now something we've never done before. So the future potential is unlimited. Um, but we really could not accurately recreate that livery without actually decorating those. So that we're excited by. And if you look closely, you'll actually see that we've made this specific Fast and Furious wheel trim as seen in the movie for this vehicle. And that'll be drum lacquered, so it will give you that extra bit of shine. So that is our third and uh, latest movie and TV vehicle. What's also cool is you do get your Paul Walker minifig, and this is the first Speed Champions minifigure to have the 2K arms. Um... We're just really happy about it, the way it's turned out. You can see this is our prototype, so we still got all the stickers on because, as always, hot off the designer's desk. Um, but there is one last thing that I didn't mention that I would like to mention, and that is you've seen our new cockpits, you've seen our new chassis and wheel arches and stuff. One element that's in these models that you won't have seen, maybe an eagle eye saw in the back of a couple of models if you if you look closely enough, but... The last new thing for Speed Champions 2023 is this element as well. And this is a one by one, but it's actually two plates high. It's got a curved back and it's got a hollow stud. So what that means is that you can finally put this on top or bottom of the existing brick with the side stud and it'll be all in system. You can finally have a stud at any angle you would like because it can rotate or because of the hollow stud, you can actually have a, a lightsaber blade or a pole or a, a 318 shaft in there as well. So you can have flagpoles or whatever it angles. So that's an element that allows us to do a lot more within under the bonnet of our Speed Champions models. But also is going to bring a lot of novelty to dragons, mechs, modular buildings, anything. So we're trying to really push the limits in our element design as well as our uh, vehicles as well. So, so yeah. one last look here. All those elements are new. All prototypes or 3D printed elements here, the new cockpits, arch wheels, so everything is there and the really exciting new element, I have to say. I'm just thinking of many opportunities right now, what I can do with those. So all those cars are going to be out there in January beside the Nissan, which will be out there, which is out there already <laughs> in so November. The, uh, yeah, so the Nissan will be in January. So yeah. the Nissan will be in oh. January, but the rest will be March. Um, okay, this, this one. Yeah. So all releases from next year, or while well, you see this, maybe it's already new. We don't know. It's always tricky. But uh, it's lovely to see. We, so we have one double pack. We have four solo cars. We have one poly bag. And you are really happy. Absolutely. I think um, hopefully you guys will have, if you compare what we do today to 2020, when we launched 8 wide, to 21, to 22, and now with 23, you will visually see the progression that we're making and you will hopefully see that every year we're trying to we're trying to build on what we did last year and, and outdo ourselves and push and actually listen when we say we want to know from you guys what do you like not like what should we do better so hopefully you can see that with 23 i would like to see one day a bmw oh good choice good choice me too all right here we talk it's always good that we talk um we will see what the future might bring 
Uh, last but least here, the question, Chris, you're still in Billund, you're still a Lego designer and you're still heavily involved in this. Speed Champions is your dream job and you're gonna go on with this. I love Speed Champions. I think um, it's hard not to be so invested when you've worked on something since it was launched in 2015. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So still a team of three? Um, it depends how you define the team. So we have we have three model builders, myself included. So I'm I'm leading the team. I've got uh, Søren Duhoin, my right hand man. Everyone might know him from uh, Denmark's Lego Masters. Oh, okay. Big uh, big celebrity. Um, we've got a, a new newer designer who worked uh, last joined us last year with the Aston Martins and and revisited this year, and that's Marin. Super intelligent, very skillful builder. That's our model building side. But the complete Speed Champions team, we're pretty much a six-man six man design team. So we also have um, our good colleague Jeffrey, who's our element designer. So everything you, if you like our elements, Jeffrey deserves 100% credit for that. Um, we've got Klaus, who is doing all the graphics on Speed Champions, minifigures, vehicles, all the logo stuff. So when we see like lo uh, the line work on the Porsche, he's the guy who stays up late at night trying to figure out how do you get all the lines to work. Um, and then we've got Martin in charge of our packaging design. So uh, six-man design team, yeah, that's a small team, but we, we all put our best into it. And I have one final question here. Have you already seen the new Cars show on Disney Plus? Yeah, I actually have. <laughs> I actually have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Storyline is a bit, yeah. Okay. But okay. I'm you're a Pixar fan, yeah. so they, in my mind, they do no wrong. Yeah, so. it's, it's, a, it's a good show. It's not so good as the movies, I would say, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's for a younger audience. Yes, yeah. exactly. Anyway, it was so good to talk to you, Chris. Um, a lot of those models are going to be out there soon. And we're going to see, hopefully, next year, not in, in four years or five. It was a long time. Absolutely. It's good to see you again next time, not so long. Bye-bye.